Hey guys, Nick with Able Cine here, NAB 2017 coverage. I'm in the very busy Freefly booth to show off some of the new things that they've got going here. We're here with Alan, who's going to tell us about uh, their current generation Moby Pro, and then also some of the new things they got on the horizon. And Brian. And Brian. And Brian. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so first, we'll talk about the Moby Pro. Yep. Yeah. We'll talk about the Moby Pro. Brian, go ahead and uh, pick it up. The Movi Pro has quickly become a new industry standard, the new industry leader for a variety of reasons. Uh, first, it's uh, super light, as Movi's always have been. Uh, but second thing is that you can operate it all day. You can hot swap the batteries uh, over and over and over again. You can set it down. So, you know, it's just a much, much more convenient setup. It handles the best cameras. It's uh, set up and ready to go to uh, be completely integrated with RED uh, cameras, for example. Uh, it has, uh, you know, auto-tune built in, so it's got a, an array of new features that filmmakers were asking for all over the place. So you talked a little bit about the batteries, but what are some of the other improvements uh, from the older generation M10, M15 gimbals? A number of things. The motors are stronger, uh, so, you know, you can operate it in really tough conditions. You can fly sideways like crazy and it won't break, uh, won't stop. Uh, you can, uh, you know, the uh, Integrating the screen and being able to configure it right on the unit is a big change, a nice change, so that you can operate it, yes, from the Movi controller, you can operate it from your app, but you can also operate it right on the unit itself. Thanks, Alan. Let's have a look at some of the other stuff. Okay, okay Alan, so now we've got the new Pilot here. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, some people call the Pilot a mimic on steroids. Other people call the Pilot a Movi controller that's modular, and that, I think, is pretty accurate. And then it separates the components, the functionality of the Movi controller into multiple parts that multiple people can use. So I'll hand it over to Dennis to uh, show you the rest. All right, Dennis, let's have a look here. So we've got kind of three components broken out, right? All right, tell us about them. So we've broken out the integrated exoskeleton version into the shoulder rig to show how modular it is. So I have my focus knob here. It has full active dampening, so you can change the damping on this. Uh, on this side, I have the handle module. It has the iris slider and a force joystick. And then we have Mimic here, which lets me control the camera intuitively. It's really good for action shots where you need to catch, catch action really fast. Um, and what's cool is you can configure any input, including the mimic gestures, on any axis. So I could do this, control focus, have my knob do roll. Um, it's all up to you. And you can configure all the buttons to do anything you want, pretty much, as well. So Really innovative. Thanks, guys. Let's have a look at the rest. Okay, so now we have the long talked about Movi XL, which I think is probably the star of your booth, right, Alan? So tell us a little bit about it. It's the big boy. Uh, so yeah, we've wanted to do the Movi XL for quite some time and we're really happy to launch it here at the show. It'll be available uh, very shortly in just a couple of weeks. Uh, and think of it as all the goodness from the Movi Pro, but in a much bigger package for much bigger camera and lens combinations. Uh, so up to 50 pound total payload for the XL. So we think that you'll find it in many different scenarios. We think independent camera operators will be able to afford it because it's at $19,995, a very good price point for such a capable uh, and large gimbal. Uh, and in addition, we think that it will just uh, accommodate, since it accommodates such large cameras, it'll be available and useful for people in TV productions using legacy cameras uh, and you know wild and woolly stuff running on cars and helicopters and you name it. So yeah, we're really uh, proud of uh, developing the Movi XL. It'll attach to just about anything. You see it here on a techno crane, uh, but you'll be able to, uh, you know, we have the most fun on a dune buggy, I think. Definitely looks high end. I think I spy a Panavision DXL hiding in there, so certainly a true cinema level. Thank you, Alan. Really appreciate you spending some time with us on that. Welcome. So, thanks for coming. Thanks, absolutely.